So, okay. So, there are few, there are signs and symptoms. Okay, so basically the general idea, the patient had pregnancy-induced hypertension, which is high blood pressure after 20 weeks of pregnancy. And if the patient had protein in the urine, we started to diagnose her to have preeclampsia. So basically, the signs and symptoms of preeclampsia, if it's mild preeclampsia, the patient may be asymptomatic. If it's a very severe preeclampsia, and then the patient may have headache, nausea, vomiting, visual blurring, hyperreflexia, epigastric pain, and sudden increase of edema. So we start from the head first. So from the head, the patient may have severe headache. The headache usually is a frontal headache, mean the headache in front of your, uh, in front of your head. And then this is because of the cerebral edema. And then the patient may have visual blurring because of the vasospasm of the artery. Okay, and then the patient had uh, nausea and vomiting and epigastric pain uh, due to the stretching of the uh, liver capsules uh, and then the patient because of the leaking because of the leaking of the endothelial when the endothelial is damaged and there is uh, there is, will be a leaking from the uh, intravascular to extravascular and this will lead to edema so for the investigations, in hospital we call it as a PE profile or uh, preeclampsia profile. So we look at the urine FME to look for any um, whether it's one plus or two plus, and then for further we uh, ask uh, we uh, do the uh, twenty four hour urine collections and the full blood counts. We look at the platelets and also the hema. Uh, hemoglobin level sorry this is not hematocrit the hemoglobin level okay so for platelets there will be um, low platelets and low hemoglobin level and also for the blood chemistry renal profile so usually we uh, take a look at the uh, functions of the urine urea and creatinine level and also we look uh, okay for the uric Acid plasma or plasma uric concentration. We also assess the level of plasma uric concentration because high level plasma of or uric acid concentrations um, indicates that there is a placenta insufficiency. So we look at the liver function test with uh, the AST and ALT level. Uh, the probably during this condition uh, during this. Uh, when the patient develop preeclampsia, when the patient develop preeclampsia, the liver function will be deranged, and then there also coagulation profile will be deranged. Okay, and then for the from the ultrasound, we need to look for the amniotic fluid volume and the placenta maturity. So, <coughs> if usually the patient with a, uh, we can divide we can define the severity up to mild to severe mild to very severe okay so for the mild usually the hypertension is not more than 160 for systolic and not more than 100 for diastolic and then they may present it with no symptoms but if it is very severe hypertension the blood pressure will be more than 160 and the diastolic blood pressure more than 100 uh, at least two occasions at 6 hours apart and there the patient may presented with proteinuria 5 gram in 24 hours and oligoria more than 400 ml in 24 hours and if the edema is very very severe the patient may have pulmonary edema or senosis and all the symptoms that I mentioned before. Okay, so for the cerebral, for the vital organ, they will affect the brain. So for the brain, 
uh, there is vasospasm and cerebral edema for the eye, the retinal hemorrhage, exudates and papillary edema for the kidney. Patient had glomerular endotheliosis for the liver. Patient had heart syndrome. What is heart syndrome? Heart syndrome is a hemolytic uh, hemolysis, elevated uh, liver enzymes, and low platelet syndrome. And then uh, for the heart, patient may have arrhythmia, failure, and pulmonary edema. And for the lung, patient had a acute respiratory distress syndrome, airway obstruction, or bronchopneumonia. So for the eclampsia, eclampsia is basically a seizure. Okay, so usually the patient it can be during pregnancy, during delivery, and after delivery, and uh, the the presentation is always the same with the normal the the seizures that caused by uh, others uh, tonic chronic generalized tonic chronic seizures.